Hey, this is John from Turbot. You're in the right place. AWS charges you for IP addresses, so you'd rather get rid of unattached elastic IPs like these two. We can see the same thing in PowerPipe's AWS Thrifty Mod, where they show up as alarms. You could make this dashboard green by releasing those IPs in the AWS console. What if you'd like to take that action automatically, perhaps subject to human approval? Now you can do that with a new kind of Thrifty Mod for Flowpipe. It includes a bunch of pipelines to correct these kind of mistakes, like the PowerPipe Thrifty Mod. Flowpipes will detect unattached EIPs, but it also empowers you to act on those resources with or without approval. Here's the pipeline that detects and corrects unattached elastic IPs. First, we'll run it from the command line using Slack as the way to receive notifications and take actions. The pipeline starts up an interaction in Slack and pauses. Over in Slack, we'll click Release. It looks like it happened. The dashboard confirms that. Now there's only one to take care of. Flowpipe found that one too, but we'll skip it for now. Instead of running this pipeline from the command line, you can also run it on a schedule. To do that, we'll set a couple of variables to enable the trigger and run it every minute. Because the notifier called Slack is named in the list of approvers, both notifications and approvals will happen in Slack. The trigger is off by default, so we've turned it on. Now I'll restart the server, pointing it to that package of variables and binding it to the server's public endpoint. When the next minute boundary rolls around, it'll kick off the same kind of interaction with Slack that we saw before. Okay, the trigger is fired. Flowpipe has detected that other EIP, and it's kicked off another interaction with Slack. We'll go ahead and release that one too. Now suppose we don't want to require approval for these actions. To do that, we'll use a slightly different package of variables. Here we've set approvers to be an empty list, which means the default response will happen. And we've set that response to be release, otherwise it would just be notify. Now I'll restart the server with those settings and wait for the next minute boundary to roll around. When that happens, the pipeline will run without interruption, no human input required, and automatically release the remaining unattached EIP. And there it goes, and now the dashboard is finally all green. You can always build your own pipelines to do this kind of thing, but for common scenarios, we'll provide mods, like the Flowpipe AWS Thrifty mod, that automate a detect and correct pattern with or without human approval for common scenarios. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try out Flowpipe for yourself, download it today for free at flowpipe.io. See the description for links and other details.